Yo, you notice the Steam Deck is only five dollars, bro? It's only five dollars. No, actually five dollars. All three of them are under ten dollars. Half Yo, the price, wild. in fact. Isn't that crazy? You can get three different Steam Decks for five dollars. That's great. That's great. The sauce. Oh, dude, I got fucking lied to. Bullshit. Jeez. This is literally hundreds of times the actual price I thought it was going to be. Oh, that's crazy. I'm not going to lie. That's a really clean design, though. That looks pretty nice. And I mean, like, bro, for only $5? I don't know, man. I can't complain. That's crazy. Got a bunch of games that Forth has uh, curated for me. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to see what we got here. So he sent me a bunch of games to look at on stream, but before he started sending me these, I was sitting in the in the living room with him and we were just looking at some of these shits like on his random like discovery queue. And yeah. there was an alarming amount of just awful trash, garbage. Ooh. Like I, I was looking at this game with him and I knew at that point, yeah, we need to save these for a stream or something. So here we go. I'm going to turn the volume all the way up on this video. We're going to full screen it. Keep in mind, this is tagged as 2D platformer. 2D platformer. 2D platformer. My dude, that's an RPG. Oh, okay. It's rough. Bro, the physics on the hair. What is that? I <laughs> want to know. That, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. What an epic Bro. legend of a game this looks like it's gonna be. I'm legitimately considering it. I kind of want to buy it. Violent Witches, The Vindicator. I'm gonna keep that up there <laughs> instead of closing it. We're gonna move on to the next game now. Let's see what we got. This okay. one, uh, this one isn't really a game. It's like a Steam program that is meant to get you to stop being a 35-year-old neckbeard. Ooh! If, you're, if your mom, like, knows that you have a real problem, she'll gift you this on Steam. <laughs> Hate Free Heroes Agents of Agro City popular listings. What? Okay, let, let's, read, let's read a little bit about this game. If we could aspire to give back to the world and to others just a portion of what we've gained, used, or received, Maybe at the end, we would truly leave a footprint worth following. That's beautiful. Inspire Your Footprints is an application and directory designed to help you explore your own unique path and begin a journey of education, motivation, and inspiration. Find your path or create your own. Journey into an adventure that can help you make a positive impact on your life. Okay, very cool. What exactly... What am I looking at? So, I'm guessing this is like a web... It's like... It's like... Skillshare? Bruh. Skillshare, but learning how to be a human. Could this not be a website? I wonder. Not nearly as inspired as Violent Witches, The Vindicator. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, people on image boards be throwing around the word soul, but after that trailer, like, this game is full of soul. <laughs> <laughs> per exactly. You know, I didn't actually read the synopsis down here. Maybe I should give it a good look. An RPG with a dark and lonely atmosphere. Eight unique witches plus alpha. Alpha. <laughs> a unique companion system using colored gems. Fragmented stories are gradually aggregate. Makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> what the <laughs> Frank, a boy who secretly run with his sister who was suspected of being a witch when he was young. <laughs> Line break. <laughs> <laughs> they encountered a real witch on the way to escape, and his sister is killed. Frank, Ooh. who was beside his murdered sister, is celebrated as, quote, the hero who killed the witch. Frank, <laughs> who grew up to be a young man. <laughs> Why is this name Frank? <laughs> However, only women who have no sin or power are killed by him. Only women who are either powerless or have done nothing wrong can be killed by him. <laughs> A witch who calls himself Shuto appears in front of him. She gives Frank three gems as, quote, the power to defeat a real witch. I just want to say, third line, a <laughs> witch who calls himself Shuto. Next line, she gives Frank. Oh, fuck. I didn't even notice. Hey, it's 2021. Come on. Yeah, you're right. Maybe, maybe she's gender fluid. Frank and Shuto's past becomes clear as he continues his journey to kill the witch. Ooh, features. It takes about five to six hours to end. <laughs> That's a feature. <laughs> you, you'll get to the end in five to six hours. What is this? A, a punishment? <laughs> We get very, very easy, easy and, and no, no enemy, enemy modes. modes. For RPG beginners and busy people. <laughs>
Bro, they straight up <laughs> added a, a reviewer mode. Yeah. Nah, yeah! I thought that was funny. Bro, I don't want to get too off track, but what if, what else have they made? Click on their name if we're done with this page. This is and it. That's it! This, this is the this only is game. It. $14, by the way. $14? I didn't even yeah. notice. Good God. Okay. <laughs> All right, all right. So we got that one on the uh, the backlog. Now what? Now what? We got. Oh boy, this <laughs> the title screen stretched horizontally. What the <laughs> fuck? Star Tank. It's literally just the Star Wars font. Yeah, it is the Star Wars font. They straight took it and used it for their game. <laughs> Stage three out of twenty. I saw this one. It's like Space Invaders, but, but your tank doesn't actually shoot anything. Like it's entirely based on your mouse. Oh. Oh, yeah, you're right. Bro, this yeah. game is des this is just designed to give you fucking carpal tunnel. You I bet you each one of those <laughs> red flashes is a click. This one, though, is much more reasonably priced at $3. Nice, nice. It's only three bucks. This is Damn, this video is five minutes long. <laughs> this is a five minute long video. God dang. It just keeps going. Oh, what is that? All right, I've lost interest. Lords of Dark Rain. Oh yeah, this is it. I can tell oh, by the yeah. name alone. And Descend <laughs> into the sunless <laughs> land. This is oh, It's yeah, good. Bro. This is gold. Descend into the sunless lands. A three-way civil war ravages the realm, while an enigmatic order tries to conquer all for their draconic master. Take the role of a lord leading an army and bring triumph to your cause. Annihilate all who defy you and stand alone beneath the swirling sky. Whoa, this is ex expensive sounding? What? Five dollars? Bruh, that's a steal. Expensive sounding, my dude. <laughs> this is like a Skyrim tier plot. I thought I was going to be spending at least a hundred bucks. Okay, yeah, this seems like it's a grand strategy game like uh, Civilization or some shit. Okay, so far so good. Damn, these graphics blowing my mind. Conquer the lands. Oh, I didn't even notice that text at the bottom. I thought it was just part of the <laughs> UI. Fuck. <laughs> Lords of the Dark Rain. The, the Dark Shadows Rain. Of Ciel. Damn. Oh, on Steam. I've been waiting for it to come on Steam for years. Planet B24. Planet B24 is a first person horror quest. In this game, you're abducted by aliens to put their terrible experiments on you. You have to solve puzzles and escape from the aliens so that they do not catch you. Get out of this damn planet to return to planet Earth. Okay? This damn planet, let's get out of here. Ah! <laughs> Hello, aliens. We are people. We live on a planet called Earth. What is happening? <laughs> Yo, this shit's on. I'm good. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> He's bro. just standing there, bro. <laughs> He's this just vibing. Bro, this is a fucking SFM animation. <laughs> <laughs> this is creature from video. Obtain. It is done. Fly from your brother. Okay. <laughs> the aliens walk. Look how he walks, bro. Bro, forget bro, fuck that. Look at yeah? This area is clearly a person on Earth. This area is clearly like a building. Like, it's not fucking sci-fi at all. Yeah, it is. Look, there's a server rack. Oh. <laughs> Why is this? Why is he stro <laughs> he's, he's <laughs> Don't go here. <laughs> Difficult way, easy way. I no, don't go there. It says not to go there, dude. It says don't go there. Please don't. It's begging you not to go that way, dude. This game looks interesting. I might have to keep this one on the uh, on the log. <laughs> He's got a gun. Just mowing them down. They keep a posing. Right now, bro. In place. <laughs> oh, he got him. He do it. He took him out. That was a close one, guys. This game is fifty nine cents. Holy hell, what am I that looking title. at? Bro, what is that purple bro, thing? Welcome to Escondido. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> what the fuck? Bro. <laughs> I have too many questions. Who's that down there? <laughs> it's another nice day in Escondido, California. And a special agent, Jack Banger, goes from goes from out of the frying pan and into the fire. The disgusting bio-monster creatures are continuing to terrorize the city, and there's only so much time before the plague spreads across the nation. Oh man, 
I'm I'm shivering. <laughs> <laughs> Me after visiting Saws and Escondido. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, this game's looking sick as fuck. Hell oh, yeah, pros. Is short. Is short. <laughs>